All right, guys. So, in this video, sorry it's been a while uh, since I've actually reviewed anything, but I haven't bought any new machines. I've just been banging out my my V7 and my um, uh, little mini direct drive. Uh, I've been using that a lot. Um, plus, I haven't been feeling the greatest lately. I just made that um, time lapse just to show you on. Uh, what this little motherfucker can do. Um, so we'll go, we'll start from the beginning. Um, rotary, yes. Pen, yes. Um, so a rotary pen, you don't really usually get good lines, good line work out of it. This one, surprisingly, I and mean, there's very few. Um, like this one you can, but that's because you can switch it from soft to hard. So you can hit it, put it on a hard and line with it which i really like but this one i've lined up to a 11 round liner i haven't tried anything bigger so it probably can do it bigger um but it lines from three round to 11 round i've tried uh 10 gauge three five seven and a 12 gauge tw seven nine eleven um on this and it, it ran them all perfectly fine um which one pass lines each time. So I've actually done a whole sl uh, half sleeve from up here uh, above the shoulder down to the elbow uh, with this machine right here. And it surprised the shit out of me. I was not expecting that. I was just, I just checked it out because it looks really close to the Soul Nova. And I was like, well, Hummingbird has very good quality machines for a great fucking price and i was like let's check this out since the hundred dollar mini direct drive surprises the fucking shit out of me right so this is 160 on the website and i was like let's check this out because the soul nova not saying that it's you know compared it's just it looks like it um no soul nova this is not a knockoff it's not saying that this is soul nova or nothing this is the hummingbird short pen with the swiss motor um, so it's got a good motor in it. Um, it's a 4.5 watt, I believe. Don't quote me on it. It might be five, but I think it's 4.5. Uh, but the Soul Nova is almost fucking thousand dollars. This is 160, and it tattoos. So I was like, let's let's just compare because I know a lot of people say that the Soul Nova is a dope ass machine and it, you know runs great. Okay. Let's check this out because I like Hummingbird and I like Big Wasp and I like what they fucking do. And I like what they put out. So I took it. I had a client that wanted a quarter or a half sleeve, sorry. And I was like, well, are you okay if I try out my new tattoo machine? She was like, no problem. She's you know, a re reoccurring client. She's, a, you know, I've tattooed her many a time. So I, I checked it out. Now, it's obviously fatter than... Uh, the previous machine that I've been using it's also shorter now it's um, a lot like uh, other tattoo pens but the drive in it is differently like it's uh, a plunger I believe instead of the I don't know what the fuck you would call that but yeah anybody who knows their tattoo machines tattoo pens know what the fuck I'm talking about um so it's, it hits harder uh, for a pen so, uh, in, in that, I was thinking, all right, well, it should be good at color packing and hopefully lining. We'll see. Um, I figured it, it would line good with little round liner or um, small groupings, but it actually does good with large groupings. And uh, it also, the longevity of it, I ran it for like eight hours, seven hours. And it, it, it was fucking dope. Like, it never, it didn't overheat. I wasn't worried about it. Like I, in in my the way I run it, I run it off the Bronk um, power supply, and the way the way I have it is I just hit my foot pedal, and just it runs. I don't hold it. I just hit it and go, and then when I want to stop, I I hit it again to turn it off. So I got my switch, but it also comes with a uh, RCA clip cord. So what I do is I, and it goes. Right now this is on five and a half. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can barely hear it right next to it. And it, it they, they say to run it between five and a half to seven volts. Um, don't run it over seven.
for a, I, I wouldn't do running over something you don't need to because um, it could burn off the motor but you don't need to the vibration is very minimal I'm holding it with fucking two fingers no problem um, you can run it at five volts if you're really um, if you like that really really soft sh shit this is seven here let me this is a, uh, I just opened this cartridge, by the way, obviously. Um, ouch. This is a uh, third gen Hummingbird um, cartridge, or Big Boss cartridge. They're both the um, same company, pretty much just like sisters. So they, this is, this is what that is. Plus, I want to show you, I'm trying to wiggle the, the plunger, and it's not fucking going. You know how some, some cartridges, like they got a lot of give or they got a lot of room to move this fucker it's not wiggling one bit so this is it's very sturdy so it's great for lining and all that shit this is a five round shader by the way it's on seven volts pushes it beautifully no problems no nothing so i love those cartridges i just want to throw that in there because um and this is not like how are people asking me, oh, or do they pay you? Are you sponsored? Blah, blah, blah. No, I'm just a loyal ass customer because they put out good shit for prices that I can fucking afford. I mean, I could probably save up and get, you know, a seven, eight hundred dollar tattoo machine. But I, why? Like, honestly, right now I'm at the point where it's like, I don't have to. There's no point in me doing that when they can come out with shit like this to where it does just as fucking good, in my opinion, because I don't need it to do backflips or fucking text my fucking wife. Like, I don't need it to do all that shit. All I need to do is fucking tattoo. And it, this one does everything I need to do. It lines with small or large groupings. It uh, shades. You just gotta be softer on your, with your hand. That's all it is. It's simple. And when you color pack, it's great, because the machine does most of the fucking work. You, don't, you ain't gotta push. You ain't gotta do none of that. You ain't gotta fuck nobody up. This thing is... is I don't know, I guess it just surprised the shit out of me, guys, like it really did. Um, and if you want to see that sleeve, I, or that quarter, half sleeve I did, go do my Instagram. It's Adam underscore M underscore tattooing. It's at that, at Instagram. But, so it does all that. Great, it does everything you need it to do. So I don't need it to do nothing else. For a fucking 160 bucks? Now, I see a lot of these ones that are fucking like choppy and and busted um but this company it ain't about that plus just showing my love towards the company because like i said they always hook their customers up like if something happens like um i fucked up one time and emailed them and i thought that they sent me the wrong thing which they did not they sent me right i fucked up and they let me know what was going on politely and respectfully and then they said look um, just to show you that we give a fuck, you know, they didn't say it like that, but they were like, I'm going to send you another box that you thought you were ordering because you, you know, I messed, I was one messed up and they sent me another fucking box and let me keep the other one. So it was like, that was my fuck up, not y'all. And y'all still hooked me up. Like I'm, that's, I'm, I'm loyal forever now. You know what I mean? Like and, and if it's quality shit like this, it's not no busted ass shit. Like a lot of people say, Chinese shit sucks, Chinese shit. Nah, bro, not everything. Not everything. Like them little cheap ass ones, yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. Everybody's got some busted ass shit. Hummingbird or Big Wasp, respect, okay? If it's got a Swiss motor in it, and don't check the shit for Japan motor, because I think that they're going towards the more um, like kit people, the people who are just starting off and just trying to tattoo... Uh, practice skin and stuff like that that's more towards that these, these this in my opinion is a professional tattoo machine it's a swiss motor it's a quality motor and it's built right it's built great it's solid bro like solid and it and also when you when you you know how you uh unscrew it for the depth and shit for the needles it's not loose either like a lot of those motherfuckers how they wiggle and shit nah bro Another thing um, that this thing has that's pretty dope, um, it doesn't come with no trays or nothing to put it down on because it's got two little grooves right there to where you can just sit it down and it ain't going to roll or nothing. That's pretty dope. Now compared to my other tattoo machines like this one, which I 
fucking love just because the hard and soft uh, hitting that you can switch. I like this one better. I would like that it had that, the, the hard and soft, but you really don't need it because all they got to do is move my hand differently. Like, it really, it's up to you. It's up to the artist. Um, this really can get some really smooth black and grays. Like, it really can. Um, but it's how you tattoo with it. It's how you use your tools, how you paint your picture. Like, it's all on you, man. And this is a great fucking tool, great brush, great everything that you need to do your art, man. Like, I can't be more happy, dude. And if, if I was you, I'd go out there and get the third generation cartridges because the first and second one are good. Like, they're not they're not terrible, but the the third gen, if you don't, like, a lot of people, they try to line with cartridges and they bitch because, you know, there's that give. Not in these ones, bro. You can just line with it like you're doing a fucking standard needle, man. Like, it's it's good. It's all good. Um, I, I really appreciate this company, man. I can't say that enough. And it, I'm not even sponsored. I, I mean, shit, I wish I was sponsored. I, I'd love to fucking get paid to say this shit. But I don't have to. Because... They hook me up even if even if I wasn't like they they still and anybody who who's a loyal customer to them they they they'll hook you up you know what I mean like that for one they hook you up with good good machines you buy a good machine that's what I mean by hooking up you you buy quality shit um I can't say enough about this fucking company bro now if they if they had shitty machines I wouldn't be saying this. If they had horrible customer service I wouldn't be saying this. If they had shitty fucking cartridges I wouldn't be saying this. Like a lot of fucking companies out there who act like they're fucking cool like Dragonhawk. Really? They got busted ass shit. Now a lot of you might come at me and say, "Whoa, they got No, nah, bro. They're fucked up. They're all, like they have boxes of fucking cartridges. They have 10 cartridges in a box and they try to price it like fucking 12 bucks. That's over a dollar a fucking cartridge for busted ass cartridges, man. Get the fuck out of here. These cartridges are like, they're under 20 bucks. I know that for 20 of them. For, for the majority of them. I think some of them might be a little like, like 21 or 22 or something. But there's no fucking get, there's no movement. And the, and the other ones are fucking all over the place or they're fucked. Like if you check them in your fucking eye loop and they're all fucked up, they're jagged or the fucking solder's wrong. Like it's messed up, man. Dragonhawk is a busted ass company. And what's crazy is their customer service sucks. Their, their machines. This bitch cost me 115 bucks. All right, when I, they first came out, I was like, "Damn, that looks dope." You can adjust the fucking the stroke length and everything. Nah, machine or the motor's a fucking piece of shit, piece of shit motor, and they dropped the thing down to fucking like 69 bucks now because they know it's busted. They know it's fucking. They just try to steal from fucking people. What's crazy is. This machine right here, with a Swiss motor in it, a, a good motor, costs less than this did when it first came out. This a hundred bucks. This was one fucking fifteen, one fourteen, maybe a hundred dollars if you got it on a good day. But still, this thing I don't fucking use no more. This thing I do, and it's champ. This thing's a piece of shit, bro. This fuck that company sucks. Big Wasp, Hummingbird, like they're the shit, and they're not knockoff things like a lot of fucking companies are. So just. I'm sorry, I went on a rant at that end, but I just want to let people know that shit, because not everybody knows that shit. People are trying to buy these kits. Now, I get it, because when you start off and you're not an apprentice, like, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what to get. And you say, oh, dude, 40 bucks for a fucking kit, I can do this. No, because the needles are busted. You don't want to tattoo people with them fucking needles. You don't want to fucking tattoo people with that fucking ink. Those machines are shit unless you change the coils, the armature bar. Well, the armature bar might be okay. But the springs, all the contact points, you got to change all that shit. So, so there's no point in fucking doing it because you think, yeah, I, I did it. I got it for 40 bucks. I got to steal. No, man, because all that shit ain't even worth it unless you change everything up. So you're just wasting money. It's, it's pointless, man. Like, it's really pointless. So if I was you, I'd, I'd honestly invest in some, some hummingbird or big wasp. You won't be disappointed, and if you are, for some fucking reason, hit the company up, and I promise you they'll fucking take care of you because they give a fuck, man. They fucking give a fuck. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, just hit me up.